Well, here we are again. Trying to get some small projects out of the way now. Oh, and dog wants to jump. All right, come on. Stop sniffing. There. So, a small project I want to do is finish making, putting this box together for this uh, little electronic test. <clears throat> and the uh, problem is, there's a lot of paper they stick all over the plastic to protect it. So you got to get that off of there first. Otherwise, nothing fits together right, and you're, you're, you'll be in trouble if you try to get it together without with all that stuff on there, because it'd be impossible to get it back off. So, <clears throat> anyway, you got to take the paper off first, then you put it together, and then uh, the hardest part was getting these little standoffs lined up on this part of the box so that I could uh, get it on there solid. But uh, I'm not done with it yet. I'm just going to, I'll just show you as I go along, I guess. But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, I'll give you a better shot of it here. Oh, come on. And I'm like knocking my tripod over. And let's see, tilt it down here. And closer. There we go. Now you can see it. Okay. But uh, like I said, this plastic is something else. You need to use your. Well, I use my fingernail on there. Luckily, I still have one thumb that's got a nail on it. Otherwise, you never get this stuff off. It is really stuck on there good. I don't know what they do with it, but... Yeah, start to peel it off. Come on, there you go. And go on down. This is a side piece, <clears throat> actually. It goes over in the old pile. Now you still got the other side to do. You gotta get that off. The plastic is pretty hard. So, and it doesn't want to come off in one piece a lot of time, so you got to go back and forth, get it off, and play around with it back and forth to get it all off. There we go. So, now I got all that. Now I got all the pieces with all the stuff off of them. So, we'll come back in a minute and we'll see what we can do with that. Okay, we're back. A, uh, and here we are. The completed box. All together. All the sides. Actually, I only had uh, a total of just eight uh, bolts and, and eight nuts. That was it. But trying to get everything lined up and getting all the tape off is actually the worst part. <laughs> the worst part actually was getting the standoffs uh, on the board located. But that's what happens with all these testers. You never know if they're going to work or not. So I got a 0.01 microfarad capacitor and I know what it is and let's see put that in there see what it does shows up the nine volts unknown or damaged part well it's not a damaged part I've checked on the other meter and it works fine so, that's leading me to believe there's something wrong with this dumb thing. Like I said, these cheap Chinese testers, you don't know if they're going to work or not. 
Like I said, I got it cheap. I mean, it was like, I think it was like less than 20 bucks for the whole thing with the box. Okay, this is another capacitor. Nothing. Same routine. Uh, okay, I got a diode. Maybe that'll say something. diode in there and see what happens. Come on. Okay. And that's in there. Hmm. So, obviously, this tester is bad. <sighs> and you know, we go through all the work, put it in a box and everything else, and it's no good. Perfect. Well, that's the way my day goes. How's your day going? Yeah, that's going to be it for now. Bye.